weather. Hello everyone, welcome to another Flying Frog video. This morning on the Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace has appeared this Fly Simware Cessna 414AW Chancellor. Now, I know that this one has been in development for, for quite a while because the guys on PC have had it in a beta um, form and I know that it was finalized a few months ago. I am surprised that we have it here on Xbox. So what we're going to do is get in, have a look. Now we'll say that this is 60 Australian dollars which is approximately 40 American dollars, 40 euro, 35 pounds sterling, and we're going to see if this is worthwhile. Now, I have followed a little bit of the development of this aircraft with other uh, YouTubers. So, but here it is on Xbox. So, let's get in and have a look. Well, to start off with, let's just come back a little bit. Come back up. Look at all the doors. Everything opens. We've got wheel chocks. We have safety tags, we've got engine covers, we've got exhaust covers, we've got a door that opens up to the motor. Let's have a look at this one first. And look at the detailing on that. That is fantastic. Now this is a, if this is what we're going to get, it's going to be well and truly worth the $60. They've gone in excellently. Now, Fly Simware, for us on Xbox, the only other thing that I know that they've got is the Grumman Widgeon, which was an FSX redo. So, and so far, this is completely different. And she looks used. It doesn't look like it's come off the factory floor. And so far, it looks... Fantastic. Now, I'm not getting huge amounts of stutters or anything like that. So, I think the frame rates on this aircraft are pretty damn good. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of any glitching at all. So, and also we get the, the tie downs, you know. All these different tags hanging off the end here. Look at that. Fantastic. So let's just have another look at the uh, rivet lines and so on. Here she looks filthy. <laughs> well modelled, uh, sorry, well weathered. Now see that looks fantastic. Looks great. The graphics themselves, or at least the decals, the, aren't uh, pixelated. So it looks really well done. So let's just come on around this side. Now I do know that um, whilst our luggage is empty at the moment, that you can go in and change the weights and it will put luggage in there according to the amount of kilos or poundage that you put in there. So here we go. So that's nice. It's, I really do. I think... So far, there we go, look, fuel cap is off. So you can really do some good role play with this one or just get in and have some realism with the flying. Now, I do know that the developer um, has, a, has had access to a Cessna 414. So they've had plenty of time to um, get it right. Um, I think that the... 
one of the head developers actually owns this aircraft. So I just think this is um, really great. To bring this type of level of detail for us on Xbox is, is really good. Now I do believe though this is not the full version that they get on PC. But hey, I'm okay with that. Um, pricing wise I think the full version is actually a little dearer on PC. If you didn't buy the beta. So... Um, and I'm okay with that. So let's have a look in here. Plenty of room. Look at that. That's nice. I like that. Right. Now. So let's go and hop inside. And have a look on the detail on the inside. So we'll come on round the wing here. I'm just trying to make this a little bit more realistic. I know I could just swap straight on into the inside but I'm not going to do it that way right so we shall see you on the inside here we are on the inside the yeah, detailing inside looks really great what I can tell so far anyway really nice okay we'll check on these opening and closing items So let's just move on over. Oh, quite noisy. But there we go. Very nice. Yeah, that's, that's a little, little on the loud side. So I think that um, that definitely needs to be toned down obviously we've got another table here and uh, let's head on back out here and I like the mural on the back wall <laughs> oh, that's clever like that and the carpet look at that it looks real yep really happy with that so far radio so let's hop on into the um, cockpit and get this one started and take her up. Okay. Now, what we'll do first is we'll get rid of the yoke. That's a good start. Now, this one does have a tablet. A pretty involved tablet at that. So, now... Here we go. Let's turn this one on. Radio. So here we go. We got all our options that we can um, do. So let's just um, well here. We, let's get rid of the, the chocks, the engine plugs. So this is where you set up for all your all your static elements and stuff. So we can just go and make sure we put them away. Cool. I like that. Okay. Okay. Put the fuel caps back on. Oil doors. Hydraulic reservoir, and we can close the engine doors as well. Look at that, that's fantastic. Really is good. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, there we go. Just a little bit of odds and sods, but nothing much else we can do there, so that's fine. Little squeak with the, uh, the door opening and closing. 
Right. So, don't do much. We can get the weather. We can select our passengers and weights and everything like that and, and allocate them where we want them. Put in our fuel. And then our pre-flight checklist. Now, going on the pre-flight checklist, let's see if we've got one up here. There we go. We've got one there, and I would say, let's open this one up. Okay, control locks, stowed. Let's have a look here, parking brake set. That, let's have a look, see if it'll show us. Yep, that takes us right to where we need to go. So that's really good. I like that. So let's just reset my view. So that's really good. Now another feature too. So say you need want to inspect something on the outside. You know, if you're doing your role playing or what have you. So let's just say, let's go back here. We can click on here and it takes us to that point and we can just have a quick look around, which I like that. It's really good. So just again, reset my view. So yeah, that's um, really, really good. I like that. And obviously we can set for um, cold, dark start, and the usual so let's just get rid of that one now I'll probably will miss some click spots but I will try and cover as much as I can I've not got into this much um, I think that this has got a lot of systems depth to it I think it's almost one of the most um, systems depth aircraft that we've got on Xbox at the moment um, that would have been the DC-6 but as we know that the DC-6 is not working so so currently at the moment so we can have a look around now what I will do is I will be showing you obviously the nighttime view and there are um, three other liveries including this one um, which is not the same on PC. PC get a lot more, but we only get the Garmin 530. That's it. Um, so, so anyway, let's get this one started. So let's come on down in here. Now the fuel taps are modelled off, which is good. Okay. That one there and that one there. So fuel taps on. Right. Let's just get you out of the way for a second. Now then. Uh, I'll get it started and then I'll go in on to the gauges as well. So. Alright, so battery on. A little bit of noise there. The fault noted. Now, one thing oh, I will show you before I go too far. Let's bring the tablet back up. Which, it's rather annoying, but I still need to show you anyway. Alright. I like the way the fact that tablet is still on the same page that we had. We have a GPU, which you can hear running, uh, which is sitting out there, which is great. So what I'll do is I'll leave the GPU hooked up for the mo. Actually, no, I won't, because I'll just use the battery off the, here, so we can shut him up. Get rid of this one. Let's close this down and put you away right now back where where were we so we have right alternator left alternator all right fuel pump nice noise for this fuel pump second fuel pump let's make 
sure that the uh, mixtures, prop, throttle works. Let's crack the throttle a little bit. Now that I'll come back out. Now, unfortunately, is this window doesn't seem to open. Now, I don't know if that was meant to open um, or it's bugged or it's just something that we may get a little bit later. But you can click on it, but it doesn't open. And it's the same with the other side. So you'll have to excuse me for a minute because this is rather dark down here and I've got to fumble around and find the damn switches. Right, so we have primer. Prime that one. Clear prop. Now, okay. I've missed something. What have I missed? <sighs> okay. I did get this one started before. Aha! Uh -huh. Try turning on the magnetos. Yep, that'll do it. Every damn time. Okay, let's see if I can watch. We can watch this one. Now let's see if it'll work. Beautiful. Nice sound starting up. Now, I. Not going to my going to be able to don't think I can see that enough to Okay it's gaining up a bit of speed which is good. Let's prime that. Okay, clear prop. Start it up, let it warm up. Okay, now we also come down here. Taxi lights, want navigation, and strobe lights is there. Now we have our de-icing here, and um, pedo heat, so on and so forth. Right. Now, yeah, the gauges. Look at that. Steam gauges. Look good. Fairly clean. Um, mostly clear. Sharp. Nicely modelled. Looks right. Okay, um, this doesn't seem to turn on though. This doesn't seem to be any click button unless I'm missing something here. Don't know what the phase switch is. It means nothing to me. So I'm not 100% certain on that. Let's just cut that back. I like the sounds. The sounds are very nice. Um, now, ours is a little bit differently laid out to the PC. Um, they've got... The PC has the transponder over here. Which we've got a different version of transponder. So... Which... I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, if they've got to do things a little bit differently at the moment to get these type of aircraft to work on Xbox. I'm okay with that. I don't have an issue at all so but anyway I would like this to be able to turn on um, even if it was just a, a blank screen I might be missing the switch it might do 
so if I am please someone let me know um, okay now we have the again all of the versions are only the Garmin 530 we don't get any other version because um, we can't have anything else but the 530 I think it comes with the 750 and, that. and again here's our um, selections for uh, autopilot there you go, that's what I'm trying to get out so we got our indicators here for the uh, that's our trim and the usual and again you know we've got rudder trim we've got all sorts of little functionings going on now are the breakers clickable no they don't seem to be okay that's fine I'm okay with that so anyway what I'll do is I will now show you the night view and then I'll head on up taxi on up to the runway and I'll show you the uh, other liveries and then we'll do a quick fly stall test maneuverability come back land and give you my final thoughts here's our night view now what we can do is we got uh, all the floodlights on at the moment so we can um, just scroll these ones down Let's make sure we get them off right so there we go and then we've got um, we can do various levels of lighting here to change that which looks quite good I like that you know all your different levels so you can play around to whatever you're happy with there you go that's plenty of lighting there and then in the cabin area we have map lights and that looks rather effective as well which they're all clickable so there's a switch just up on in the panel up here you just turn them on so there we go easy flyable at night so we got to click and drag so we click and drag it there we go so that one there and I think we can uh, I thought I did see it move there we go look at that we can actually slide it so that's pretty good too right so let's start taxiing so handbrake off a bit of weight to the aircraft And it's a nice steady runaway as well. So it's not running away as such, but we're getting a nice resistance to the roll. So it's not trying to scoot away. The aircraft's feeling like it should do actually. But it just seems to be enough friction to make it all controllable with the taxi. Right, so I'll see you up at the end of the runway for our takeoff. Here we are at the end of the runway. Now, one thing I do like while well, I notice taxiing, we we're getting a lot of, you know, we we're getting rattles, bumps, squeaks, bangs, the usual thing. Good sound package. I do like that. So, let's just uh, check my trimming. So we need, no I don't want 8%, let's just drop this one down a bit, so let's try there for a takeoff, now it does have, just say takeoff, nose up, nose down, um, I don't know where the indicator is for that. Oh, there we go. 
all right let's take off so we've got the white indicator here on our trim so what we'll do is we'll put it on for takeoff and we'll set it there which I was pretty close anyway radio first day flaps nice sound for the flaps handbrake off and we'll get going oh sound oh heavy to get going but how's the sound oh my god bit of squeaking and banging going on in the background it's quite loud though very stable not trying to pull too much one way or the other Right, so what I'll do is I'll get some height and um, I will uh, come in and I'll do a uh, stall test and some manoeuvrability, do some outside shots as per usual, head on back to the runway for a landing and I'll give you my final thoughts. Now the sounds are not bad um, inside, the sound quality is great, I just think it's maybe a little loud but then again you'd be wearing headphones so it's a bit hard to, um, to tell so I'm going to do a bit something a little bit different I'm just going to do maneuverability within the aircraft itself um, normally I do the outside so let's try this one so Do stall test. So drop back the throttle, drop back the pitch of the, throat, of the uh, prop, and uh, what I'm going to do is just simulate a landing, but obviously stalling it. Okay, it's a low throttle warning. Now I'm all the way back, so we got no tipping. I'm pulled all the way back, so she's trying to gain a bit of speed. Still all the way back nothing no mushing just a little bit drop of the nose stable there's the store warning not even much of a store horn um, I don't know if that's correct I would have thought the store warning horn would be going off but so there you go radio just got it there. So 
So let's just throttle up a bit. Right here. Have a look on the outside. Now yeah, the view outside is very good too, as we can see. So we can see forever, really. It's actually quite a good view out there, maybe a little high. It's still not too bad. If you look that way, that's pretty good as well. shell harbour over that way so what we're going to do is um, I'll do some outside shots and head on back too once the gear goes down which is very good started her running videoing a bit early uh, but I suppose that way you guys get to see the whole approach which unfortunately does tend to make my videos a little bit longer and I hope I'm not boring you at all please let me know in the comments below if I am and I'll try and make these a little shorter but my whole aim with these videos reviews is to try and give you guys uh, an idea on um, just the layman's way of, of doing this. I'm not a pilot by any stretch of the imagination, nor am I really a, a serious gamer at all. So, but yeah, she's got some, I feel this has got some real characteristics. that beeping was, probably a height beeping or a lineup. Characteristic landing characteristics are nice. Very nice. Okay, I was a little bit off, but not bad. I like the ground sounds. There's a little bit of chinking going on in the background. The rollout, I'm not on any brakes, so the natural friction with the tyres on the tarmac is just slowing me down. Very nice. Okay, 
See you over at Parking Bay 6. Listen to the engines cooling down. I like that. That's cool. My final thoughts. Fly Simware Cessna 414AW Chancellor. $60 Australian on the Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace on Xbox and probably PC. Have flight simware done enough for their $60? Yes, well and truly. Whilst we don't get the exact same version as the PC, I'm okay with that. The modeling is excellent. The sound package is excellent. The system's depth is excellent. What else can I say? But I'm not one to turn around and say, you know, whether an aircraft is a must-have. Um, but I'm almost going to go awfully close and say this almost is a must-have. I believe currently this aircraft is probably the best GA aircraft we have on Xbox currently. If not, it is definitely up there. It really is. So Honestly, do yourselves a favour, go out and get this one. Yes, I will be flying this one. I will probably fly this one quite a lot. Um, I do like its systems. Whilst, okay, I didn't go and test the, um, the uh, autopilot. Okay, the windows didn't open, and maybe they're meant to, but they don't. I'm not sure. But I'm okay with that. I really am. Do I regret buying this one? Definitely not, as you guys can tell by my, um, by my attitude with the whole, this whole aircraft. So, yes, go and buy this one. Um, I do feel, okay, $60 is a lot, but I feel as though Fly Simware have done a brilliant job. And if we're going to get this type of aircraft on Xbox, then, um, oh my God, roll in Sim Update 11 when we get the Wassum, because um, it's going to be good times. So on that note, everyone, please like comment subscribe join me on my discord the uh, description or at least the uh, the link will be in the description below we can talk about this aircraft you can join in on our once a month glider fly-ins and just chat in general post post up your screenshots and just keep in touch with what's going on with flight simming and everyone please do yourself a favour, grab this aircraft and stay safe.